What's my destiny, Mom? Hey, up, troops! Welcome back to the Latana Army. I'm Lit, and this is Fortnite Save the World. And what I want to do today is check out again Ragnarok. Now, some people have been asking for me to focus a little bit more on the actual setup that I have for my hero. So, if you've got a hero, do you know what are good tactical um, tactical slots and support slots for said hero? So, for Ragnarok, when I use Ragnarok. I tend to use uh, Shuriken Master Sarah. Reason being, if you look down there, it says increases all ability damage by 20%. Which is absolutely fantastic because this guy's really ability heavy with his shock tower, with the uh, seismic impact, and also the anti material charge to a degree. But overall, she, you're going to get a big boost from Shuriken Master Sarah. She's actually really useful for a ton of different heroes. Then, also on there as well, I use Master Grenadier Ramirez as well because killing an enemy with an ability or weapon recovers five base health per second over three seconds. Kill resets the healing duration, will not activate on full health. Now, the reason I use her as well, again, because Ragnarok is an ability heavy hero. And a lot of people are saying he's trash and stuff like that. And I don't agree. I always think in Fortnite Save the World, you should play who you want. There's too many people out there who are so stat heavy and so stat focused, uh, you know, on Fortnite Save the World. And that's, that's no way to have fun. You know, I don't, I don't come to play a game to, to play maths, do you know what I mean? I want the game to do the math for me, and then what I actually want to do is just play the game and have fun. So if I've got a shotgun, can I blow a husk's head off with it? That's all that I want to know. I don't need to know any more than that. Does it work well? Do you know, do I need to know if it does 95 damage or whether it does 80 damage? I don't care. Do you know, I just want to know how quick I can get that husk down, and that's kind of what this is about. And the ability damage and all the ability buffs that you get on Ragnarok just make him a ton more fun. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump in with this kind of setup. So I'll just go over that again quickly. So Ragnarok, Shuriken Master Sarah, and Master Grenadier Ramirez. So that's the setup we're going to go with. So we're going to jump into a mission and just see how viable that setup is. The balloon has landed. Okay, so where the balloons landed then? So we've just built some basic tunnels, which I'm going to stay well away from. Let's see how much actually gets through. Now we should be alright with these tunnels. I've not got a trap hero. But he's a good hero, nonetheless. Alright, so let's have a look. See how good his abilities do. I think we should be absolutely fine with the setup that we've got. I'm going to use the Silent Spectre with him. And just lots of seismic shocks. I got you, I got you. Good, good character though, Sarah Hotep. Another great one. So I think a lot of these guys are going to be, you know, they're going to be hurt by the trap tunnels, so we should be alright. It's good to actually stand in the trap tunnels with, and just kind of blast your way through like so. If you reach like that. <laughs> but we should be pretty cool, so it's got seven minutes to go, and I think we'll be alright. Do you know the sound effects for Ragnarok are just nuts? <laughs> and the good thing is... You can put the shock tower down, and if you get it right, unlike I just did there, then you can actually stop the smasher charge. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, it's holding up. And look, the smasher's coming through there. He's not liking it. <laughs> Alright, he's no AC when it comes to that, but still down nonetheless. Let's put the shock tower inside the tunnel. We'll let them get that as they come through. So it should be pretty safe. Six minutes. There's only two of us and it is a level 70 mission. Okay, I can hear a blaster. I can't see it. Let's put the Death Stalker on. I love that as my second because it's great for taking these guys out. With the perks that we've got on it. If we can get headshots. Where's the other one? Oh, the other one's up there. Look, maybe I should finish the one that I was on. There you go. Down again. Back up. Really relying on them tunnels behind us. So look, these are the tunnels that we've got. And the tunnels will do a lot of the work. We've got a lot of push traps in there and things like that to kind of stop them. I'm using the Death Stalker to take out the blasters. Oh, we haven't got anything this side. Okay, okay. I've just took the shotgun off and that's exactly where I would use it. Yeah, this works. I like these kind of quick throwing up trap tunnels. It's kind of good. I feel like we've got a decent setup now. Probably need something on this side. You know, just a little bit, but I just keep dropping a, uh, a shock tower in there, just to kind of keep them at bay. Oh, we got to take her. Another file. 
Keep that up there. All right. So this is my blaster killer. When it works. There you go. <laughs> All right. And then we just want a straight up monster killer like that for the takers. Yeah, I like this. Good setup. Okay, look. The seismic shot is great down tunnels. I don't care what people say about him. Not everyone's going to like him. But he's really good when it comes to things like that. Spectre. There you go. They just melt when it comes to Spectres. Alright, so far we're doing so good. <laughs> Shouldn't be out here. This is the one of the worst places I could stand. But let's do it anyway. Because this is where, like, if you get exploders and stuff, you're really vulnerable. Okay, I'm going to get inside the tunnel now. Which is a terrible place to stand. Just want to stand inside here. Just coaxing him in. And just watch them die as they get closer. Shock tower up. <laughs> All right. And the shock tower's great, looks. His ability damage just does so much. Let's have a look what we can find. Oh, we've got a exploder. May as well shoot his tank from out there, from that range. B dudes, never like you guys. Run away. Damn it. Why did I do that? I was trying to use the grenade as if I've got a, as if I'm using the urban assault. There you go, look. Seismic shock just takes loads of them out. What are you doing? No! <laughs> Alright, here we go. So things like that, you just look for where the biggest waves are. And just drop your shock tower. So you know they're going to come down here. So just leave it there and just let them try and get through. Just try it, dudes. Oh, alright. See the exploders at top? So you want to kind of let them go through. Now the seismic shock doesn't explode their exploder tanks. Which is good. So you got to be really careful with that. Put the shock tower there for when they come through. Safety. Safety first. Wow. <laughs> All right. And the shock tower died. Never mind. It's okay. Oh, they're on the top. I've just seen them. They must have jumped up. They're the little jumper guys, look. Clever. Clever dudes. Clever. Kind of wasting mats now, because we don't need to build here. The threat's kind of at the other side now. <laughs> there you go. Shield that. Whoa. Nice. Love Dragon Slash. Sarah Hotep's kind of a copy, or it's a kind of, a complete copy of Dragon Scorch. But it's nice, you know, she's not left... Oh, I say she. I automatically just put the character with whatever they're playing. So if they're playing a female character, you just assume it's a female. Which it probably, 90% of the time, it just isn't. <laughs> but I'm just going to pretend it is. Whatever. There you go. One seismic shot. And look at that ability damage. Absolutely nuts. Oh, we've got blasters up top. Hide. Okay, let's get the stalker on. Where is he? Pop your head over, I dare you. All right, you dare. There he is. And that's all I really use that for, you know. You can use a seismic shock down the tunnels, which is great. Was that a taker? It is. I'm not ready for you. I'm not ready. All right, he's dead anyway. I think she took him out for me. <laughs> all right, good. It's got to be another file done. Blue's just in there, look. It's not even very well protected. But because we're using the skills in the right way, we're safe. She down? Oh, bee dudes. Yeah, they're not good. Look, I'm in. I'm actually in the bees getting you up. <laughs> Alright, I'll crawl out of the bees. There you go. As is courtesy these days. Oh, we've got a smasher. Shock tower down now. You don't have to do it that early. It's already down, look. Already down. Good. You collected all of the files. Amazing. <laughs> all right. So that was Mummel Play. I wonder if Mummel Play's got a YouTube channel or something like that. Sounds like it. But I do like it when you meet nice people in there. It's been hard, you know, recently. I actually found it hard to record this morning because, stupidly, and I never normally do this, I went on Reddit. And Reddit is a great way for any YouTuber, no matter who you are, you can try and be a nice guy about it if you like. But Reddit will punish you. You know, Reddit will hit you hard uh, when you try and talk in there. And it's difficult, you know. There's a lot of 
haters in there. Do you know what on Reddit what I find is most of the people on there are actually really nice and they've got really nice things to say about the video and things like that. The Let's Play Reddit is absolutely phenomenal. You know, them guys are so nice in there. And I used to get on really well with everyone in the Paladins Reddit. The Fortnite Reddit, though, the, tox the toxicity? Toxicity? I don't even know what the word is. But basically, the, the toxic uh, players that are in there, they're so vocal and so aggressive. And stupidly, I opened up some dialogue with one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Which was my own fault, you know, my own fault for getting involved. I've got a, a channel manager and he always says, you know, don't just don't go on Reddit. You know, stay away from Reddit. They're not, uh, you know, but it's, I don't do that. I've, Reddit's always been such a valuable resource to me and really nice. And the thing is, you can't make content for everybody. You know, you can't make content that's going to fit everyone's needs. For example, a David Dean watcher might not be something, might not be someone that watches my content. And I love David Dean to bits. Me and David Dean uh, speak sometimes in the Discord, you know, occasionally and it's kind of like we're two completely contrasting YouTubers and totally contrasting content creators. Do you know? And some people might, you know, some people who follow my uh, my channel, you know, might say, you know, well, David Dean's not, not enough fun for me, or David Dean doesn't do the, the silly bits that you do. But then on the flip side of that, I under I totally get David Dean's audience because he's so concise and he's so good at his builds. Do you know, I mean, I'm someone who follows, do you know, I follow all types of different Save the World YouTubers. I just love the game and I like following all the content. But Jesus, some people were so, so aggressive in there. It was nuts. I actually found it difficult. I picked myself back up. I actually watched the Jack Jacksepticeye therapy thing. Do you know where he goes to therapy because he's struggling with motivation? And it kind of picked me up within the first like two or three minutes because watching that guy is just like phenomenal. Okay, quick then. Let's just quickly run down the rewards. So we've got Hero XP, we've got Reaper, we've got Gold, we've got 99 Gold. We've also got on there Mist Monsters, the quest, which we've got another 100 Gold in there. We've also got Killer Storms and, oh, even more Gold, which I definitely wanted. And then we've also got some more Reaper, desperate for Reaper right now because I've got so many guns that I want to do up. So looking in the event store then, I've kind of stopped spending gold now. I need to pick up Sledgehammer before he's gone, which could be any time soon. Hopefully I'm going to get him today and we'll review him soon. To be fair, he's not really one worth reviewing because he's the same as the Urban Assault Headhunter, but he just looks so cool. Do you know what? I can't not pick this guy up and he's probably going to be uh, one of my go-to heroes. I do use the Urban Assault tons, uh, but you know, using it with a different skin would be a ton of fun. So I definitely want to try and grab him ASAP. So I've got to kind of get him today uh, just to make sure that he's done and he's in the arsenal. But there you go, guys. So that was Ragnarok using the different support slot and the tactical slot. So what I've done there, I've got Ragnarok there. Then I've got in there Shuriken Master Sarah for the ability damage. And I've got Master Grenadier Ramirez in there as well. As always, guys, and I know I say this a lot to you guys, but I mean it every single time. A huge thanks to all you guys supporting the channel out there. Massive, massive hello to everyone in the Discord crew. We'll be in there tonight again to chat to you guys. Uh, you guys have been absolutely brilliant and so supportive, and I really needed that, especially the last couple of days. So a huge thank you to you guys. And if you're not part of the Latana army already, you know, and you've got this far into the video, then make sure you hit that red button before you leave. I would love to have you as part of the channel, and you would be more than welcome here. Massive, massive thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you tomorrow. Take care now.